Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Southern Wing of the Stink Bug Works. Yesterday, I fooled around with this stator a little bit. Originally, all three wires kind of came together and went out one opening in the end bell. And I have taken the leads apart. And I think what I'm going to do is this. <clears throat> I'm going to cut all the leads the same length as this broken one and then put them in a solder pot and tin these ends. Then I'll put new shrink tube on them, shrink the shrink tube, and the old end bell, all three went out one opening. There may be other openings, but I'm going to spread these things out and go through different holes. If I have to drill holes in the end bell, end bell I will do that. And uh, this motor will just have a really short leads and will have to go to a particular application. But there's really nothing wrong with the stator or the windings. It was just that this one wire broke off so darn short. So I think I can salvage it. It'll go aside. The saltwater boat is, well, I need some more saltwater equipment in my toolbox. For the full-size saltwater boats, they make a compound. Think of it as like dish soap that eliminates salt. So part of my uh, toolbox is going to include spray bottles of water and spray bottles of this stuff that gets rid of salt. And one of the other things is I'm going to have uh, extra cooling hose that I can flush out the cooling systems because salt water is really nasty, corrosive stuff. You know, it, it, it's just insidious. It gets everywhere. In fact, I was looking at Big B's video this morning, and he had the prop off of, what was it? That's his big 34-inch boat. And the thing is brand new, and I'm looking at the prop shaft right where the threads begin at the prop nut. And sure enough, there's a tiny bit of rust there. And that thing is brand new and you just blink and rust will start to form. So you, you got to be all over it. You know, he runs that in brackish water, which is almost, not quite, almost <laughs> as bad as the salt water where I'm going to run. But God, you got to stay on top of that. And you, quite frankly, you got to darn near tear the thing down every time you run it. So I am going to do a saltwater boat as an experiment to see if it's worth the trouble. So I will have a dedicated saltwater boat. Now, Big B suggested I run it in fresh water first. And <laughs> that is my plan because you never know where these new boats are going to leak. You know, you just never know. Because Hop Singh and Wing Lee, when they were putting them together, may not have uh, been exactly right. So I got to thinking, when I go boating, I only like to take a couple of boats just because the after-run maintenance is so high. You know, maybe three of them. Just, so what do I have? And I went through all my seaworthy boats and, God, I got a lot of seaworthy boats. And then I showed you how many non-seaworthy ones do I have. They're either in kit form or have been assembled and need a replacement part or something. So I've got 28 boats. You know, uh, <laughs> Big B, when he said he had 30 or 40, I'm thinking, that's crazy. And then I look at this and I go, oh, then so am I. <laughs> so, you know, here's the problem. 
all these ones you build because it's your own sweat equity in them have a much higher value to you than to anybody else on the planet. Because there's only one person on the planet that gives a rat's patootie about your sweat, and that's you. <laughs> so, I don't know what I'm going to do with all of those. This little guy is on his way. We're going to do a fun build thing. Ooh. Ooh, you know, <laughs> hmm, hmm, just thinking out loud, folks, just thinking out loud, hmm, no, 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 I, I want to go with this just to keep it simple and to see what it does, so anyway, the saltwater boat, I'm still waiting for stuff, I'm going to have Stuff like this in my field box now. So um, until next time, boys and girls, jet out.